Erickson blasts it down. Cannon fires here deep into the end zone. And first play from scrimmage. It's a fake to McElroy. Hill with plenty of time. Let's it go deep. He's got right. He's got it. He could go. What a way to start the game. Touchdown Rams. 75 yard strike from Colin Hill to Dante Wright. Inside, watch all the action, and look at the linebacker step forward, and you get the mismatch that you want. You've got the speedy freshman with leverage inside on a corner trying to come back over the top to help. I really like what he saw later in the game from Samson. Let's see if he starts off here hot. Third down, drops back, throws the ball. Tony Tate with the completion. It's caught at the 43-yard line, perhaps up to the 44. And Open up some gaps for yourself. Double tight end set here to Sears to the bottom of the screen. And pressure in there, and it's a sack. Toby McBride coming through. He's able to get inside. Big time pay. Great use of the hands by 97, Toby McBride. Watching the center of your screen and just uses his hands the right way. Beats Kyle Sampt. It's great to have him back if you're a Colorado State fan and coming up big there. Third and long. Sampson back to pass. Going to drop it off over the middle. Incomplete. What a career he has had so far in just over a game of action here. He's going to make the catch. The nine working near side and good coverage there for the fighting Leathernecks. The power and speed with Mark Marcus. Another touch to right here near side. He gets hit hard at the 22-yard line. Still driving the legs and pushing forward out to the 24-yard line. His collegiate career last week and then his first touch today, 75 yards. McElroy with a handoff. He puts it on the ground. And the fighting Leathernecks have it at the 25-yard line. Royer able to come up with that fumble. And what a break there. Able to force that one. McElroy putting it on the turf. Side. He has it, but right there, the strip, he's bobbling that, bobbling that ball the entire time. Never has it. It's in there, and right there, it pops out before the contact. He's gotten a big turnover. Here's a sweet big hit, knocking him out of bounds, but Tony Tate there showing off the Jets. Coach saying he's got elite speed. That's going to be a first down at the 15. Third and long. Sampson back to throw. He's got time. Goes to the corner. And incomplete. Tate got his hands on it, but could not come up with it. Be three-yard field goal. Right in between the hashes. Four of seven in his career. Low snap. But Fellner able to get that hold down. It kick is up and good. So the fighting Leathernecks on the board after that turnover. The Rams still lead it. Seven to three. Catches out of the backfield. So a dual threat there. Play action, screen here to the top of the field, and it's Warren Jackson swallowed up there. He really had nothing going. Zaire Williams read that and was all over it. Down and back out to the corner immediately. He's unable to do it, and maybe it takes a little bit more of a sell job by Warren Jackson here. you got to give him... Hill stepping up, checks it down. And Kinsey's got room. He's got the first down and more across midfield. He could go. Evades the last defender. Heading to the pylon. Touchdown, Rams. Quarterback, this is the greatest thing I've ever seen. You just lose leverage. You throw a four-yard pass. And guess what? The fastest guy on the team, one of the fastest guys, gives a little dead leg to the outside linebacker and scoops up the sideline for 77 yards on a three-yard throw. Look at the little stutter right there. Fantastic move, and then the speed. The yards right now, 164 to 29, favoring the Rams. Sampson back to throw, and he's swallowed up, and he goes down. <laughs> Trainers are going to come out and check on him. Here's the sack. I, think it's, I believe it's Chris Age, but look at Bombeck again. Watching these guys use their hands up front. They're violent with the hands. And right there you see the big tight end, Chris Age, on the other side, blocking and gets folded up underneath. His last passing attempts, and they're going to run it here, draw up the middle. Walker going to get a few yards back, perhaps six, maybe seven, but it's going to bring up fourth and long. So you got to stay ahead of the sticks. Fellner boots this one, his first kick. 
was 47 yards. Another good kick. Wright has it, though, with some room. He's going up the hash mark now. Cuts wide. He loses it. It's on the turf. It's a free ball here. The scramble for it. It goes all the way out of bounds on the far side of the field. And a golden opportunity there for the fighting Leathernecks to get some momentum back with that fumble. But the Rams will have it. For the Rams. And they go to him a quick out. He's trying to cut it back inside, and he's going to pick up the first down. They go quick. Kinsey driving the legs. Did he get there? It's going to be close. This one will depend on the spot. Prentice in at fullback. Kinsey at tailback. He's going to get the carry through the line, into the open field, into the secondary. And big gainer there down to the 32-yard line. All right, put it on the turf. And Ken Kenzie's just coming in and reaping the benefits of the opportunities in the passing game. And here you see running behind the big fullback, Adam Prentice doing a nice job mauling his guy as he does. Ty McCullough in motion. Hill under center. He gives it to Kinsey. He's got some more room here into the secondary side. Steps one tackler down to the 20-yard line. Run. You see the nice wash by the offensive line. So he cuts back and... Right there, the little jump cut. Hill out of the shotgun. Drops back. He's going to throw. Now he's got some room. He drops it off to pass underneath. That's Christian Hunter just getting some of those yards back. To blast one through here from the left hash. He toes it. It's on its way. And it is no good. Have been out since the start of the season, and they're missing one of their top receivers. So their skill positions are a little thin here as they go over the top. It's Houston with the catch all the way down to the 30. Man, it's a good throw. Good coverage, but you got to make a play on the ball. You see it. Go get it. Go get it. Marshawn Cameron right there. Go up and make a play for the ball. Some directing traffic up front for that offensive line. Drops back. Looking left. Fires that one short. Houston was open, but that's a long throw. And Dejon Owens on the coverage for the Rams. It's a long one, 45-yarder. Erickson booms it. Up and in, off the upright and in. Kinsey Ford carries 46 yards in this one. He's got it again, sifting through the line. Never pops out the other side, but he is going to pick up the first down. Just enough, a three-yard gain there. Out of the shotgun for Hill. He's going to throw. Open in the flat is McBride, and he's got the first down. Coach Bobo has in store here after that timeout. Hill drops back to pass. He's got time. Looking over the middle to the tight end, McBride, and they've got the first down. Right in motion near side. They're going to throw a slant to the outside. Scott has it at the five. The Rams are pushing. Can he get to the end zone? The ball, ball came, came out. out. The ball came out. Let's see what they rule here. Do they cross the goal line? Western Illinois says they have the football. The call. After reviewing the play, the runner crossed the goal line with the ball in possession. And missed one there. Tate this time on the jet sweep, trying to get to the corner. And Bombeck all over at that time. He's having none of that. And it's a great stop. You see him really staying outside, keeping his hands free. George Wahi at the top of the screen. Offset tight. Sampson back to pass. He's got time. He's got his receiver. Wahi is going to be wrapped up, still fighting for yards, and he's not going to have enough. Fellner has boomed the first two kicks that he's had a chance to tell. This one a little bit lower, right coming up for it. He's got it at the 29 with room. Gets to the far sideline. And taken down at the 48-yard line. He didn't have a full preseason, a full camp to get ready as he drops back to pass. He's going to go up top again. E.J. Scott with the catch. Knocked out of bounds on the far side down to the 13-yard line. Watch the action in the backfield. You see the good protection. And Scott with the over route. Does a nice job of setting it up. See the little lean back like he's going back to the corner? And then he separates. That's a really got jo good job of being technical on your route and finishing it the right way. Try to get out of harm's way, not take a big hit. 
This is a give to Kinsey, and he's tackled in the backfield. Kyle Williams with a tackle for loss. Third and long here, third and 12. They go to Kinsey out of the backfield. He makes a man miss, and he's going to walk in. Touchdown, Colorado State. The cannon blasts off. The student body enjoying every bit of that. Colin Hill with his fourth touchdown pass already in this one. You get the lineup you want, you take the tight end away, they bring pressure off the end. All he's got to do is make one guy miss, and you see how easy it is. Ball's on him quick, so he can react to the defense. And it's an onside kick. He goes for the recovery. I believe Davis came up with it. He does, he comes out of the pile, Braxton Davis. He gets there, he knows he hits it just perfect. It's got just the right amount of speed. And that was absolutely perfectly done, well done. Look at the timing, but you see him do that, that check, make sure nobody's coming to get him. You ride more of your blocking tight end. Hill pulls it out of there, whips it out, and it's fumbled. Jackson put it on the turf. Glisten covers it up, and it will be Western Illinois football. We'll have to take a look to see if Jackson really had that one in the fumble. You see the nice play pass. They hit him on the slant route. Great throw and catch. He took two steps with it. That is a fumble. And you can see the way Jackson went for it immediately. So you know that he had it. Big wide receiver sucks it in. Vitti, the big hit there, putting a helmet on the football and jarring it loose. What can you say about the, the fighting Leathernecks right now is that they do fight defensively. Looks like he's checking at the line. Third and 16. Three-man rush here for the Rams. They get pressure. Manny Jones and McBride combining there to take down Sampson. Pressure with three. And drop eight. Look at the inside move, and there's you see the, the hold by number 75. Tight formation now. Kinsey goes out wide in the motion. Hill trying to run for it, and he gets taken down. They won't get it. Timeouts. That's the second straight week for Western Illinois. So they've got a kick block. Pressure on Sampson. He's going down. He's swallowed up by that defense. Ellison Hubbard. 98 celebrating there. Third and long here. Rams do have a timeout. If Western Illinois doesn't pick it up. They go over the middle and over the top of Tate that time. As Coach Elliott, I'm sure, wants him to be. Pressure on this punt. And Fellner able to get it away all the way back to right at the six. And he slips down at the eight yard line. 49 yard kick from Fellner. Over by right, out of the slot. Hill fakes the handoff, goes to Jackson, near side. And knocked out of bounds there, but a good gain on first down. It's going to be a run play up the middle. They've got the first down. Kinsey's still churning the legs out to the 41-yard line. He got up first. Quick throw here to the near side. Two seconds left as they get out of bounds. Two seconds before the half. Davis, the long one. And sends it wide left. It's to Rams fans, number 24. He's blitzing here. Pressure on Sampson, rolls to his right. Sidearm sling, it's complete for a first down. Houston there, right at the 35-yard line. As he's running to the sideline, unable to square up, but watch just the flick of the wrist. You see the left foot down as the catch is made. And good pressure again. And he just flicks it outside. This year he's playing with much more power, using his hands. Other next going quick here. Ball down the field to Rankovic, incomplete. A flag is down in the backfield. And they were in last week, but it, it did end up costing them. Sampson here, completed pass out of the backfield. Walker just able to get back to the line of scrimmage, maybe even losing a half a yard. Carter again on the tackle. A blitz. And that pass is completed. Houston short of the first down. And the Rams rallying to the football and knock him to the turf. Well short of the first down. Elliott electing to go for it from the Ram 40-yard line. Sampson back to pass. Ton of pressure. He has to just throw it away to avoid the sack. That's intentional grounding right there. 
field, but not much farther. It's a turnover on downs. Collar State still in control. Tells you about what kind of young man he is. Kinsey with some room into the secondary there. Taken down at the 33-yard line. That's going to move the sticks. Right this time on the jet sweep. Can he squirt through there? He breaks it up. Can he go all the way? Touchdown, Colorado State. Did we mention you got to get him the ball? Man, this guy, that's special. Found the end zone twice. On a fly sweep, nonetheless. And then he outruns an angle here as VD has the angle and still can't get him. You watch him run. It doesn't look like he's running that fast. Davis kicking off for Colorado State. Justin Hall's going to bring it out. He's got some room. Bounces it to the near side. And taken down out of bounds by the kicker, Davis. But a good return for Justin Hall to get going. He talked about tempo and rhythm and executing. And a pass rush again, getting to Sampson. The whistle did not blow. This is a free ball. Bombeck, the one to get on top of it. That's the trifecta. He's the one with the hit as well as the recovery. There was no whistle after the hit. The ball did go forward. If you're left in. Uses the hands, boom, the hit, and then he takes off and goes and recovers it. That's a fumble. That ball's out. And you see, you see the open hand coming forward there. The ball is out before he starts that forward motion. Kinsey is in there now. Third and seven for the Rams. Hill drops back to pass. Flushed. In trouble. Trying to get a couple of yards out of it. Marvin Kinsey on, on the just F option out of the backfield. Kick is on its way, and it is no good. <laughs> Said, I got a note right here, it says you've only been sacked eight times in your career. Siron Brown, one of them. As Tate can't come up with that, but a flag's coming out. Walker with the carry slipping down right when he gets there. And Manny Brandon Jones has been in playing in the backfield the whole game. He's a big man, and he's playing with a lot of speed right now in that backfield. Screen set up here. Radkovich with some room. He's got the first down and more here down the near sideline. Really was, but you still have to realize who number 25 is. And great effort by Quinn Brennan. He almost gets there and foils it. No one blocked him. He comes up a little short. You'll see him knife through right there. And a good job by Rakovich. Just continuing the run. Keep his feet going. Third and nine. Samson quick throw to the left side. Tate trying to get inside. And he got hammered to the turf down at about the 33-yard line. Fourth and five here. Completed pass. Wahi trying to get to the sticks. And it appears he'll have it. Got a tackle in space on time. Third and 20. Drops back. Eludes some pressure, throw to the outside, and Wahi, the intended target, but well over his head. What are you going to do to get things back on track? And he hopes that he's done that with this edge program. Hunter with a run up the middle. Nothing doing there as he's thrown to the turf. Third and 17, Hill rolls to his right. Short pass to Kinsey there, and he started to run without it. He drops it. Got to eliminate those plays, those kind of drives. Hall back deep. Calls for the fair catch, and catches it right at the 40-yard line. When this line is rushing the way they are right now. Run up the middle, nice game there. Radkovich trying to get to the 50, which is where the sticks are at. This afternoon has been dynamic. It's been outstanding. Third and short here, and Western Illinois will have enough for the first down. Radkovich in motion, play action. They're going to go to him out in the flat. That pass a little bit behind him. He was able to make the catch. He's got to stand in there and be a little more accurate to allow his guys to get yards after the catch. Fourth and one. It'll depend on the spot. I do not think he got it not go well for Colorado State here at home. A different story here today, but they want to keep that intensity up. McElroy into the secondary with a big gain right up the middle. Motion, and we see the kick out, the wham block there by Prentice. 
Opens that door on the backside. Good cut, good vision. Then you cover up the ball because you put one on the turf. Good job. McBride in motion. Hill out of the shotgun. Keeps it, fires it. Near side. DJ Scott with a completed pass, and that's going to move the sticks. Jalen Thomas in there. He gets the carry on this short yardage play. And they are stopped short here. Greg Benton on the tackle. 41 yarder here, booming this kick. It's up and through. I mean, it's an outstanding tight knit family group down there. Wahi able to make the catch going up high, trying to get away. He cannot. Seven yards deep. He's going to get the handoff off the right side. He's got a hole. He's got some room. He's into the secondary. Ooh, he's off to the races. Looks like he pulled up a little bit there. And he's going to be down on the far side there. You can see it, perhaps a hamstring there. He started to really open it up. You see the hole there. Big hole able to squirt through. Stiff arm. And then late there, he pulled up. They're checking 8-6 right now. Late in the fourth quarter. Sampson with some time here. Still hit as he throws. He's got Tate. Tate is in for the touchdown. All the way out here and circles all the way back. And he's still able to kind of lean away from the pressure and make an accurate throw on the good post corner route by Tate. 75 yards. On the pass to right, 77 to Kinsley. McCoy in trouble, and he goes down. Kyle Williams, Shabar Wilson in on that sack. 0.3 yards per punt. That was the best the Mountain West has ever seen for a season. He blasts this one all the way down to the 25-yard line. Hall on the return to the 31-yard line and sent to the turf there. That's offense, special teams, everything. A little too high there for Houston. He's the real deal, and Colin Hill has been terrific in the first two games. Fellner sends this kick, and it's caught at the 25-yard line and sent backward here. Cameron makes the catch, Marshawn Cameron. It's one of those flat knuckleballs, and he handles it, does a good job of taking the ball and putting it away. Good coverage down on that end. Hall with a big hit there, getting downfield. Hall's made a lot of nice plays in special teams. You love his effort, Re returning kicks, getting down there as a gunner, making a big hit. No quitting that young man. And work hard. Patrick O'Brien in at quarterback, looking down the field. He's got an open man. It's caught and stepping out of bounds. What a nice game there. But watch the linebacker who sees it, 31, he sees it, and he runs back, but never gets his head around. He's just trying to catch up with his man. Never gets his head around to find the football, and that's Eric Carrera, the safety. And I, that could be the first time we've mentioned his name, right. and really the QB of the defense, getting everybody organized, as McCoy's going to keep it here across the 50 to the 45 still churning and down inside the 40 yard line and a first down for the rams o'brien's going to give it to thomas and a nice run up the middle got a big hit still able to gain some yards after that contact the offensive line one thing we haven't probably talked about enough is thomas goes off the right side breaks a tackle carrera able to get him to the ground but not before they get a first down keeping him fresh did an outstanding job. It's a final here from Canvas Stadium. The Rams win it. The cannon blasts there as the coaches meet at midfield. First win since October 13th, going back to last year for the Rams.